Hi everyone, I'm Craig and this is Pro Edit Tips. This is video two in a two-part series of 5.1 editing in Adobe Premiere. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button and click on like below and you'll get notified of any new videos that I post. What we're gonna cover in this video is how to mix in Adobe Premiere, how to send a client review, and how to send your final master to a broadcaster. If you didn't watch the previous video, please go back and watch that because that's gonna get your timeline set up for what we're gonna do now. So everything's basically set up. The only thing we need to do is work with the audio track mixer. You're probably used to working with the audio clip mixer, which is up here. So the clip mixer is dealing with the levels of the individual clip. If I go in here and I open this up and you see your volume, if I lower this, you see that moves down. So this is the clip mixer. But we're gonna deal with the track mixer, which I have open, but you can just go Windows, audio track mixer, and then on the track mixer, it'll show you a list of timelines that you have open. Pick the one that you're working on. Normally when it opens, it probably looks like that. As you can see, you have your two 5.1 tracks, and then you have all your standard tracks, and then here goes these two submix tracks. First thing we're gonna do is we wanna send all these standard tracks to the 5.1 track, and watch what happens when we do that. This is the send. So you say send it to the 5.1 submix, and then all of a sudden this pops up. That's your 5.1 panner. Think of that dot as your head, and you're looking down in the room. These are your three speakers in the front, those are your two speakers in the back. This knob, center percentage, tells it how much it's gonna put in that center channel, which will be channel three. This is the LFE knob, this tells you how much it's gonna put into the subwoofer, which will be channel four. You want to put everything into that 5.1. If I hit play now, Bring up on the you'll see right now it's just going 1 and 2, and it's going to 5 and 6, because we haven't done anything yet. But the one extra thing we got to do is we need to put the 5.1 into the stereo, but at the same time put it into our output. So if you come over here to this little carrot, you twirl that down, the top bars are sound effects. So if you want to do compressors and EQs on the track, that's the top section. The middle section is sends. So you're sending stuff to other tracks. So the 5.1 track is already sending to the master out, but we also want to send it to the stereo sub. And then you have to turn up how much you're going to send. And what you want to send is six decibels. If you're in Premiere 2019 or below, you can just crank it all the way up. Six decibels is the max. From 2020 on, the max is now 15 decibels, which you don't want to send 15 decibels. Six is the right amount. That'll now send this whole 5.1 mix into the sub mix. And our sub mix we already set up here to seven and eight. So now when I hit play, this is showing up. And now if you're monitoring in stereo, you can now click on this and you can hear the your whole stuff. mix in stereo. So you can make full mix adjustments just monitoring the stereo and follow some basic levels and you'll get an airable 5.1 mix. So the things we're gonna do is first we're gonna take our voiceover track, we're gonna solo it, we're monitoring it on that stereo mix down. First we wanna crank that center channel, watch. So this is gonna play. Coming up on the XYZ TV and you see that center channel come up. Stuff. And then there'll be some and other And it dropped stuff. out one and two when you got to 100%. But you still saw it in five and six because the puck's in the middle. So we want to try to get the puck in that little notch. Sometimes it's a little difficult. Oh, there you go. Got it. Now you'll just see a clean some channel three. Stuff. All that and more next on the XYZ TV Now if you had two voiceover day, tracks, Eastern, then you right just here. put the second one here or wherever you want, honestly, and you just bring that up. You're on XYZ TV. So now let's go to our SOT. The SOTs we want to keep in one and two, but we want it mostly in the front. Sound on tape. There one, we go. Two, three. So we won't put any SOTs in the rears, just, just on the front. So now if we listen to the two together, we have our VO. People will do stuff. Sound on tape. One, two, three, four. And then there'll be some other stuff. All that. Yeah, you know, and we can raise our SOT level if we want, or we could bring our VO level down. People will do stuff. Yeah, generally your VO and you want in the yellow All that with the cool. socks. Um, music you want in the green. Now we're going to listen to the music. The music is on channel 10. So we're going to go to channel 10. 
We'll solo that. Well, first we want to add a little LFE into the music. Not a lot, just try to keep it under 39. If you don't have a subwoofer, if you have a full 5.1 mix, you can listen and mix in as much LFE as you want. But if you don't want it too crazy, keep it under 39. So there we go that, and then we're gonna push the music to the front. And you try to keep the rears about like a quarter to a third the volume of the front. Around there is pretty good. So now we have the whole mix. People will do stuff. Sound on tape. One, two, three, four. And then there'll be some other stuff. And we can bring our music down. Our music's a little loud. People will do stuff. Sound on tape. One, two, three, four. And then there'll be some other stuff. So that's it. Now you have to deliver it to a client. Whether it's Frame.io or Vimeo or whatever it is, if I output this, what's gonna happen is with a stereo output, it's just gonna grab one and two and they're not gonna hear the VO or the dialogue if it's a film. All you need to do is we're gonna go File, Export, Media, and we're gonna build a preset. You're gonna go to Format, H.264. You can use a, a, a Vimeo preset or YouTube is pretty good. I'll use a 1080, here's a 1080 Vimeo. That's just our starting point once again. So that gets our video, 1920, 1080. Our frame rate will be whatever your timeline is. Then all you need to do is go to audio and then change this right here where it says channel to 5.1. And that's it. Save this as a custom preset. And now when you output it, instead of just clipping off the first two channels, it'll clip off the first six channels and make a true 5.1. There's metadata in there, so it folds it to stereo. So if your client's just listening to it on a laptop or on their cell phone or an iPad, it will sound correct. They'll be able to listen to it and hear it. If they happen to have a 5.1 setup, it will sound correct. It'll play out 5.1. If you needed to bring that in to Premiere, you'll have access to all six channels. It'll dump seven and eight, so you won't have your stereo mix down anymore, but you'll have the actual 5.1 mix and you'll be able to isolate the channels if need be. Now, if you have Frame IO, once you create that and you save that preset, you can then go into your Frame IO panel and you'll be able to go upload active sequence and then what you need to do is in format, you click here and you scroll down to select preset file. You click select preset file. If you're on a PC, it's in documents, Adobe, media encoders where it saves it to, the version you have, and then presets. And then you look for the one that you made. So there's my 5.1720p web. You click open and then it'll be in there. Then once you do that for future outputs, it sticks it in recently used custom. So it'll just be available to click on. And then you can just upload it to Frame.io and you're good to go. That's getting into the client and that's whether you had mixed it yourself or if you had gotten audio back from a mixer and you're using the two 5.1 channels up here those outputs to the client are exactly the same. And it's gonna be the same for the master delivery too, whether you mix it yourself or whether or not it's coming from audio post. We'll go file, export, media. For broadcast, I'll use OP1A and then XDCAM 50 is a pretty standard delivery. So I'll do XDCAM 50, 720, 60. You pick that. And then all you need to do is on audio, you just change your channels to eight. And that's it. This is one broadcast spec. The main concern here is audio, make sure it's eight channels, hit export, and you're gonna get an eight channel mix. So that's it. That's mixing in Adobe Premiere Pro. In the future, I plan on doing an Adobe Audition 5.1 video, which will show you how to set up an Adobe Audition project to output not only 5.1, but to do all the mixed stems. So separate 5.1 VO stems with separate SOT stems and music stems and mix minus music, which would be all the delivery requirements that anyone would need for a broadcaster. And it'll also show you how you can easily change between what you're outputting and how to set up all the templates for that. Please remember to hit the subscribe button so you can get notified of any other videos I post. Hit the like button if you like what you see, and I'll see you next time.